three UW Health Region Services Excellent Award winners. Dr. Mulcarin is board certified in medical oncology and internal medicine. He completed his residency in internal medicine and fellowship in medical oncology at UW Hospitals and Clinics, a premier educational institution. <laughs> he then joined the UW Medical School faculty in 1999 and is currently an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine in the section of oncology. Since joining UW Health, Dr. Mulcairn has consistently demonstrated exceptional leadership skills, a passion for clinical excellence, and, compassion, uh, and a compassionate uh, care style for patients. He is calm, focused on the issues at hand, curious, thoughtful, progressive, team-focused, and results-oriented. He understands his constituency and balances patient, patients with accountability. Dr. McCarran also serves as the regional director of the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center Regional Cancer Center Network. This includes sites in eight communities within Wisconsin and Illinois. He's provided a bridge between an academic medical center and busy community oncology practices very successfully. Since opening the Regional Cancer Center in Rockford, the organization has served more patients than expected at both UW and Swedish American and has become a model for regional cancer uh, care delivery. And we're going to tap them for many more of these opportunities in the future. And I appreciate your willingness to serve in that role, Dan. Dr. McCarran's motivation and dedication are obvious to anyone who has had the pleasure to work with him. He is knowledgeable and scholarly and upholds the integrity and ethics of his practice to the best standards. His contagious leadership skills encourage everyone around him to elevate to the highest levels. By doing this, he implements exceptional clinical practice while improving quality of care. He's a humble man showing respect and warmth to everyone he works with. Innovation is one of Dr. Mulcairn's strong qualities. He receives feedback well and works to find better ways to enhance the quality of care. This is reflected in his compassion for his patients, working to provide excellent care while preserving our patients' integrity and treating them with the respect anyone would his colleagues consistently remark that he's a pleasure to work with. Although the medical and organizational issues he deals with are sometimes complex and contentious, Dr. Mulcairn is always willing to take them on with a thoughtful approach and positive outlook. He's really an exceptional leader to work with, and I have had the pleasure of working with him on a number of projects. So I'd like to invite Dr. Daniel Mulcairn to come up. Thanks. I don't get to stand on a stage like this too often. I'll say thank you to everybody. We've heard that there are big teams that are necessary for doing our work, and it is true. There are way too many people I could say thank you to. I will take the moment to give advice to our esteemed uh, leaders. Uh, you've heard from a few of us how your phone calls make us nervous. <laughs> As a person who gives both good and bad news on a daily basis, a warning shot, Hey Dan, call Mr. Slowinski, he has good news for you. He would have been. <laughs> uh, a, nice, uh, a nice way to do it. Uh, but, you know, I got to squirm just like everybody else, uh, so there it is. That's good, um, that's good. <laughs> um, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad Ron mentioned the Wisconsin idea. I actually think it is why we do what we do. Uh, we bring the important work of the university and of our medical school and our health center across the region. We're here to care for patients. We do that better with teams. We do that better with research. We do that better with outreach. And the people of this state who face, and the people of our region who face difficult health problems, cancer or otherwise, deserve our best. And we can do that in collaboration with academic and community relationships. So I believe in our mission. I'm excited to continue to be part of it. I'm excited in part because over the 10 plus years or so now that I've been doing it, it's actually gotten a lot easier here. What I mean by that is when I started, the, the kind of learning about regional relationships, it was always about learning our partner um, a little bit, but here kind of navigating the difficulties of a university, a physician practice plan, a hospital, and the pieces uh, that our leaders are now trying to do, I think, is resulting in culture change and the integration is actually making things much easier for us to accomplish our mission uh, in the region. Nobody paid me to say that. Um, <laughs> uh, it's culturally true. Um, I, we've been, I've been fortunate to have a team of individuals as uh, physicians that I've worked with across the radiation oncology departments and surgical departments administratively. I'm lucky to have my clinical partners be my administrative partners, 
it makes us a strong team and easy, uh, easy to accomplish our mission when we're all on the same page. Um, gosh, I don't remember what else I was going to say. Uh, thank you for the opportunities to continue to serve. Um, and uh, thank you all for being fantastic team members. <laughs>